Okay, this is just a quick video I'm going to make on how to convert open line cuts into closed loop, closed path cuts. Um, sometimes this is a necessity. I see people that, that buy a file that was intended for plasma or they've got the file somewhere. And these open line cuts work great for plasma in some operations, but let's say you're going to take this same file over to your vinyl cutter or your laser. Sometimes these single line paths won't won't work well. So it's really easy to convert these to closed paths and widen them up. And I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. First thing you do is I've opened this flag file. I select the, the path and then I'm going to go to path, break apart, and break this path apart. Now you want to click off of it to unselect everything. The next thing I'm going to do is hold shift on your keyboard and then go around and select while holding shift click on each line so I'm just holding shift and left clicking selecting each line that's an open path you only want to select the open paths some of them are a little hard to see um, you may need to zoom in a little here to see each path so you don't forget any. I think I have them all selected. So now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your fill and stroke menu, which mine's already open here. But if yours isn't open over on the side, you can go to object, fill and stroke. It's your second option down here. Click on that and it'll open your fill and stroke menu. So now with your fill and stroke menu open, you're going to want to go to stroke style click on that and it'll open this up I always work in inches so I set mine to inches and then here I can set this to whatever thickness I would like those clothes paths to be so just for an example I want to put 50 thousandths and hit enter and now that's changed all those strokes to 50 thousandths and you can also right now these are flat on the end they're squared off which is a butt cap if you would like them to be rounded you can you can hit round cap and that'll round the ends of them off sometimes that looks a little better so now I've set the stroke width to 50 thousandths and I've rounded the ends off with the round cap now the next thing you're going to want to do is with all of those still selected go to path stroke to path and now that is converted all of those open lines to closed paths. Now the next thing you're going to do is I'm going to want to put this file back together as one path. So I can click up here and drag a box around everything except for the outside contour. I want to select all of the inside paths. Now they're all selected. Now I can go path union and that's joined all those as one individual one single path now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to page this all the way up you can either come up here and use raise to the top or you can just hit page up a few times on your keyboard now the inside contours are on top now once again I can click drag a box around everything and now I just go path difference and now this is all one path all the open lines have been converted to closed paths and this is ready to save as a DXF or an SVG file and send to whatever cutter laser vinyl whatever it is you're using this on um, and now that this is a closed path you can use fill colors where with an open path design you can't so hopefully that helps some people out Thanks for watching.